<laughs> he did it. Baker Mayfield, number six, winning Heisman Trophy number six for the University of Oklahoma, and he won it in a landslide as we thought. Of course, he's already won several awards entering Saturday night, besides the Heisman Trophy, AP, uh, College Football Player of the Year, of course, winning the Maxwell Award as well, um, and other awards too. Baker Mayfield, not bad for a walk-on quarterback who some said was too short, didn't have the quarterback type profile to play major college football, and he proved them all wrong. Um, this is a guy that, yes, he has a lot of emotion when it comes to the game, but it transfers to his teammates. It transfers to this program that absolutely loves him. And he'll go down as one of the greatest Sooners of all time in a program that has so many greats. Um, offensively and defensively. I still say the greatest player of all time, by the way, and not to tarnish Baker Mayfield's night is Leroy Selman. I mean, that guy at time, he required triple teams. That's how good he was. And, of course, the first Tampa Bay Buccaneer to be inducted into the uh, Pro Football Hall of Fame, God rest his soul, in uh, Leroy Selman. He was a part of national championships as well for OU in the mid-'70s. But this was Baker Mayfield's night. You know, I thought it was one marvelous speech fantastic speech and even more fantastic when you consider how much concentration had to go into it because you know as baker's about to accept the heisman after being announced the winner billy sims for some reason has to be the center of attention and we'll talk more about billy sims later but baker mayfield wow um we knew he was going to win the heisman tonight we knew it wasn't going to be a contest that's exactly what happened i mean two years ago you know got invited to new york finished fourth last year Finished third behind um, tonight's third place finisher in Lamar Jackson. Bryce Love, of course, finishing second via terrific running back from Stanford. So Baker Mayfield outshining the competition, uh, getting more votes than the other two worthy uh, contenders who were there in NYC tonight. From Austin Lake Travis to the Big Apple, Baker Mayfield uh, wins probably the most coveted uh, trophy in all of amateur sports, the Heisman Trophy. And, you remember that you know Baker's road to getting to where he's at now from where he was was not conventional. In fact, it's something that I don't even think you could write in a fiction or in a um, in, in any kind of fiction book and say to yourself, yeah, it's fiction. That could never, ever happen. But you know, back in 2013, um, he did get scholarship offers from, uh, I think, Rice and Florida Atlantic, but he wanted to play at a bigger school, wanted to play big-time college football, and Texas Tech you know, took him as a walk-on and – I think he, he's the first and only um, true freshman walk-on to start a season opener at a Power 5 school, which is Texas Tech. And that opener against SMU, you know, he shines. Um, you know, he completed 43 of 60 passes, four touchdowns over 400 yards against the Mustangs, and had one heck of a debut. But Game 5, of course, against Kansas, had the knee injury, and that would basically change the course of Baker Mayfield forever. Because once it came bowl time, um, it was an open competition for quarterback. Baker Mayfield was able to play. Uh, the knee was fine, but it was an open competition. Baker didn't know what he did to lose the position or not being able to start it right away, and, and he wasn't. And due to that, you know, miscommunication or, or, or lack of communication with the coaches and scholarship issues, Baker Mayfield said, I'm going to the University of Oklahoma as a walk-on. And, you know, he went to OU in January of 2014 without an invitation from the University of Oklahoma. In fact, um, a, uh, it wasn't until a month later, February of, of 14, that, that Stoop said that Baker uh, would be on the roster as a walk-on, but he, of course, wouldn't be able to play that year because of the transfer rule. He had to sit out. was on the scout team, kicked absolute butt. And remember, you know, Baker came to OU fully aware that Trevor Knight just led the Sooners to a major upset win over Alabama in the Sugar Bowl. And you know, I think that day uh, in New Orleans, uh, Trevor Knight threw for four TD passes. And people thought, well, Trevor Knight, man, is going to lead you to the promised land next year. Of course, that didn't happen. Knight had to deal with injury as well. Cody Thomas, I think, played one game, uh, started and led the Sooners to a win at Texas Tech, coincidentally. The next year, Mayfield being eligible to play, despite being a walk-on, beat out both Trevor Knight, the incumbent, and Cody Thomas, who had starting experience and would become the signal caller in game number two at Tennessee, um, led the Sooners from behind after being down by two touchdowns entering the fourth quarter. Mayfield 
turn things around for the Sooners. They forced overtime and would win the game in overtime, and that was the first chapter of the success for Baker Mayfield at OU. And, of course, the Sooners would go on to win the Big 12. Sporting News in 2015 named Baker Mayfield their college football player of the year, <clears throat> and the Sooners earned a berth in the college football playoff. And, you know, 2016. Remember, we didn't think that Baker was going to have a 2017 because Texas Tech was fighting hard that he shouldn't get that extra year of eligibility, and it didn't look like it was going to happen. Then on June 2nd of 2016, it did happen uh, by a 7-3 vote that Mayfield would be allowed to play in 2017. So we knew that we were going to get two more years of Baker, and in 2016, the, that month of September, had a couple of losses to Houston and Ohio State, but then played like a much better quarterback and got a Heisman invite for the second straight year, finished fourth in 2015, finished third in 2016, and the Sooners won the Big 12 for the second straight year and would beat Auburn in the Sugar Bowl. But, of course, 2017, for the most part, for Baker Mayfield has been positive. Um, there have been some adversity for Baker to overcome, of course, the arrest early in 2017 in Arkansas. Know about that. And, of course, even after a victory, a huge victory at Ohio State, you know, had to deal with public ridicule because of Baker sticking the flag on the 50-yard line at Ohio Stadium on the O, or inside the O. Baker Mayfield, through anything bad that's happened, he still brings that energy, that fire, and comes right back. Um, not just his ability, not just the fact that he's got the statistics, but he makes players around him better. They believe in him, and they would run through a wall for him, and vice versa. Baker is the emotional charge, the spark plug of Oklahoma football, and has been for at least the last three years. You're not going to see anybody of his kind for quite a while. Um, I know Kyler Murray's going to be a terrific quarterback, but but Baker Mayfield's just one of those once-in-a-lifetime type generational players. What he brought to this Sooner team physically, but also, too, with his emotional output, um, you can't duplicate that. And from this Sooner fan, I just want to say to Baker, um, congratulations on winning the Heisman. You deserved it. You earned it. Um, third time was a charm as far as the trip to New York City. And by the way, about Billy Sims, I don't want to rip him too much because, you know, he's one of the great, you know, running backs of all time and won the Heisman in 78. So I'm very appreciative of Billy Sims. But this was Baker's night, and to constantly say, Boomer, 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 I mean, shut up. All right, just, just zip it. Let Baker have his moment. And Baker, by the way, I thought handled all that very well. And, of course, delivered one hell of a speech. Of course, the Sooners have unfinished business to take care of. And um, there's absolutely no doubt that, that Baker is going to do everything he can to not let all these awards, all, all this hardware that he has collected this week, to not change him and not give him the big ego, the big head, and interfere with the preparation against Georgia. Um, the game is still, what, three weeks away? But he knows that there's unfinished business with, with, with this Sooner team, and they've got an opportunity to win the whole damn thing. Um, that's all I have as far as this show. Again, Baker Mayfield joining the late Billy Vessels, joining Steve Owens, Billy Sims, Jason White, and Sam Bradford as Oklahoma Heisman Trophy winners. And won't be too long from now till you see a huge statue of Baker Mayfield uh, just outside Gaylord Memorial Stadium. Congrats to Baker Mayfield. For winning the Heisman Trophy. And by the way, congratulations too to uh, Mark Andrews um, for winning the Mackey Award, uh, the nation's number one tight end. And he deserved it as well. Boomer Sooner.